Hey guys, welcome back to Xamarin guys. So in this tutorial, we are going to play around with expander control and item selection. That is, if you are selecting any item within the expander, then we can get a specific item that is selected and we can get all the contents out of that expander if the item is selected. So how are we going to create it? So basically, we are going to start our expander as an experimental as it is in experimental state in Xamarin Forms 4.7 and I think it will be stable and we don't need to use that device.set flag after 4.8 now we can see over here we have a main page and basically I am just creating one stack layout which is like a bindable one so it is just acting as like a list view and I think you have played around with list view previously so list view has in as item source as something you know that right so the binding layout dot item source will be its internal property data template as like the list view and view cell in the list view but it does not have a view cell inside it now the intentions are the resource collector which collects all its items and then provide it to the expander that is inside the stack layout which is a bindable one so just it's like acting like a list view which gets its header as well as footer for the expander from the intentions that is our item source so item source will be providing its source and the expander is going to collect its item from the item source so how are we gonna get that item source from so you can see over here we have id title description body description so we have a single object and out of this object we are going to create a multiple collection of objects and then we are going to pass intentions that is our resource collector to our main page it's just acting as like a list view so this is how we're gonna bind our stack layout which is a bindable one with this full contents so our main focus will be whenever the expander is selected then what we're gonna do we are going to extract out our contents that is which expander was selected and what are the contents within that expander so this is the code that is going to give me all the features associated with that specific expander whenever it is stabbed so you can see over here if i click on one of the expander then we are going to get all the contents associated with that expander hope this helped you thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials